We'll guide you through how you can update Minecraft Bedrock, but just quickly, if you do find this video useful, then please consider subscribing and also leaving a like. So basically, Minecraft Bedrock should automatically update whenever you go and launch it. But if for some reason you're trying to join servers and other things and you're noticing that it's saying outdated or you may just notice that the version of Minecraft Bedrock you have in the bottom right on the home screen isn't the latest version because you know there's a newer version out then I'll show you two different ways for how you can go and try and manually update Minecraft. The first way you can go and manually update Minecraft Bedrock is by going and clicking on the search and then what we want to do is go into the Microsoft Store. So go and type in Microsoft Store, it should appear pretty quickly, and here it is. And then once the store opens, what you then need to do is go to the bottom left and go and click on Library. And then all you need to do is go to the top right and go and click on Get Updates. And this is gonna go and check all the apps you have for updates. So go and wait for this to run, and you may go and see Minecraft appear here. If you still don't think it's being updated, then we'll go and get into the next method in just a moment. Now for the second method, we can actually go and use the Xbox app. It's pretty likely that you have the Xbox app on your computer. So all you need to do is go to the bottom, tap on search and type in Xbox like this and open it up. And then go over to the left where it says my library and scroll down into my PC games and look for Minecraft for Windows. And then all you need to do is click on it. And then once you're in here, click on the three dots and you then need to go and click on manage like this. And then uh, to the right of general, click on files. And then you've then got this option here, check for updates. So click here like this, and then it's gonna go and check for any updates which may be available. I hope you did find this guide useful and that you managed to update your Minecraft bedrock. 